I just get a little stuck about what to talk about on any given day. I don't know whether people really want to hear what I'm doing every single day. And actually, I don't necessarily do something every single day. However, it just struck me as I'm down here, um, I'm about ready, to, about ready to pick some kale for dinner. I'm going to make a pasta and kale uh, dinner tonight, a recipe I found in the New York Times. But that's beside the point. What I'm going to talk today about is potatoes. I'm going to give you a potato update to let you know how things are coming along with the various methods that um, I used in, in uh, planting potatoes this year. First off, this is the root stout kind of bed that uh, I planted uh, about 12 potato plants in and they are definitely coming up. This little guy was the first one to peek up and it is growing very, very well. Uh, you can see it goes all the way down. Now I'm gonna continue to pile up straw as these go to really make sure that any potatoes forming along under here um, are kept out of the light. That's a very important thing to do. So what do we have here? I've got one on this row. I planted three rows with four potatoes each in it, as you recall. Um, and what do we have? We have one, two, oops, three, let's see if anything's coming up under here, four, you see that one, but I'm going to cover that right back up. We have five showing, six over there showing, Oop. seven showing, and you can see in those mounds over here where there's push up, oh, here's one more right there. Yep, they're coming along now. We have knows, we now know that the potato plants are growing. Uh, it will be remain to be seen whether we get any kind of harvest or whether critters come in here and beat us to it. But I am excited that they are looking healthy and fine right now, and they're coming up right on schedule. So, yay, root stout method, sort of, potatoes. These are the red Pontiacs and they are looking just fine. I had done a video I planted my peas up there as well. So these are looking good. There are some flea beetle damage on here. So I may come in um, and just put a little bit of dust on here to, to take care of that. Uh, flea beetles are a pain in the butt with, with ants like this. But again, this one got knocked back. Uh, the plants that had come up, you can see here, there was frost damage, but this plant recovered and it sent up plenty of um, good growth here. So what I'm gonna be looking for, this one got damaged here as well, but you can see that it has sent, sent up growth. Um, let's see, let me count the potatoes in this area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe that's, I planted seven potatoes in this bed. So that's great, we're getting good growth. These potatoes were planted um, underground. They were, I dug them in about four inches, um, but I will continue to mulch this um, just to kind of keep it well, um, well mulched as these potatoes grow and, and begin to develop. So these are the red Pontiacs that were planted in March. All right, so when I did the video on growing potatoes in a grow bag, this is the bag that I planted those first potatoes in. These are the Purple Majesties. Now these guys got knocked back. They got hit hard when we had a late um, a, a frost uh, and it got quite cold. It got, um, oh, in the 20s. And they did, you can see a little tiny bit of damage here on this plant. They were just starting to come up. However, they are, they got knocked back, but they did not get killed. And so it looks like we've got one, two, three, four plants sprouting. I would be expecting, oh, to see, no, nope, that's not one. Uh, I would be expecting to see something coming over in this area of the bed. We shall see. Um, but again, they did get knocked down. Now they also got planted pretty deeply, so we will see. But hopefully we'll get some purple majesty potatoes here. Recently, um, in April, just last week, I planted a second 20 gallon pot. So nothing's happening there and I would not expect anything to be happening there because they were just planted in the last week. I don't think anything is popping up. Nope, won't see them probably for a good while. These are the potatoes that I planted really early um, and they are coming up very well. They got a little nipped by the frost, that, that, that same freeze, but they grew back just fine. This is a bag I planted later and they are just now starting to come up. 
These are the potatoes that I planted uh, from the store that sprouted and I put them in a five gallon bucket in early March or mid-March I guess and they are growing. That's great to see. All in all I'd say potato palooza is going to be happening this year and we are going to keep an eye out for flea beetles and potato beetles and we'll just pick those off as we see them. So we'll come out for a daily inspection and I'll take you along with me so you know what to look for.